I think that UDL, the role that it plays in making personalised learning possible, is that it frees up the teacher. Um, I can't be in front of 50 students all at once, so we're in a modern learning environment, so sometimes there are 50 kids in my class at once. There's another teacher as well. What, you can't be there for everyone. Um, and so through the technology, I can um, be in more places at once. So for example, um, leaving voice notes on things so that if students need an explanation of something, um, they can just hit the play button and it will talk to them in my voice and tell them more about the bit that they're struggling with. Essentially, it reduces the demand on me so the students aren't responsible, like I, they don't need me to do the learning, they can become more independent because I'm not holding up their learning because they're waiting for me for the next resource or for the help. I started using Read and Write with my whole class primarily because I thought actually if everyone's using it, then well, it, it makes, the, it creates the kind of classroom environment where those students who really need to use it will feel comfortable to do so. But then I got a bit more than I bargained for because it's the best tool I think I don't know, it's the one I use the most. So in science we use it a huge amount where um, students are doing research. So as they read, I get them to highlight. As, um, as they read, what are the key things and export it to a Google Doc. So as a teacher, if they've spent an hour researching and reading stuff, but they haven't been able to find the right information, um, it used to look like they just didn't do any work for an hour, but now I can go and I can see all of the notes that they've taken and all the stuff that they've read, all of the keywords. It's magic. <laughs>